have a question for you. Do you like crispy foods? Because I do. Are you interested in air fryers? I keep seeing this everywhere. Well, if you have an oven, specifically an oven that has convection oven features on it, did you know that you could basically turn your oven into a air fryer? All you need are these two things. And technically this. Let me explain how. Okay. So I don't know about you, but my cooking game has skyrocketed since the beginning of the pandemic. During that time, there was one appliance that kept popping up more and more, and that was the air fryer. It got me really interested. I considered buying one, and I just like gave up on that and didn't get one. Well, I'm glad I didn't. I looked into it. The air fryer is not at all a fryer. It's just big marketing and big hype and clearly, it works. You're not actually frying with an air fryer. It's literally just a mini convection oven. If you have a convection oven, that is the key. You'll know if you have a convection oven, but generally the big towel will be that fan in the back of the oven. And that's what really lets the air circulate more evenly. And I would bet that a lot of people that have a convection oven bought an air fryer anyway. It's a small appliance, but it still takes up quite a bit of counter space. So counter space is something that's limiting for you. You have to weigh if it makes sense for you to have that or not, especially if you live in a small place. It's just one more thing to have around your place and one more thing that can break, more clutter. And I know someone that has one and she barely uses it because she stores it somewhere in her pantry on the bottom. It's heavy enough that it's annoying to take it in and out. So they just don't even use it. <laughs> The advantage of an air fryer would be if you don't have a convection oven, if you just have a traditional oven that can just do baking functionalities, well then, yeah, that could be something to look at. But if you have a toaster oven that has a convection oven feature on it, you can basically turn that into an air fryer as well. How these air fryers work, it has perforated holes in the bottom, the air circulates everywhere. The advantage of it, it's really small, so it heats up really quickly. But the disadvantage is, is that it's really small, so you can't cook a lot. You could maybe cook for one or maybe two people, maybe more side dishes, but it's, it's a lower quantity. And I guess it could use less energy, but I don't think it's significant enough that it's something to necessarily be as a positive. Or it cooks more evenly, it cooks quicker, and it uses very little oil. And in fact, it will actually usually have oil drippings. And also, of course, the big benefit is it makes delicious crispy food. So, I mean, who doesn't like that? Because of the fan, it circulates the air more evenly. So everything with the perforated holes and the air can go all around and basically get all sides of your food. But if you have a convection oven or a toaster oven with the convection oven setting, you can basically turn it into an air fryer with these things. This elevated rack, this is the smallest size and I wish I got the bigger size. And it's really good quality. The grill mark's really tight and small. This was like, I don't know, $17 Canadian, so it's even less than USD. And for Canada, no additional duties and taxes. So this was a good thing. But like I said, I would get one size up. This is the smallest size. The whole thing is that you don't want to crowd your food on here or on an air fryer. You're looking at this as one layer. So even if you were to do fries, you want to spread them out. Highly suggest you get a bigger size. Even if you are one person, just you have more flexibility with this. And I would highly suggest getting a non-stick silicone type of sheet. Well, I'll link all of this down below for you. You could use your sheet pan, but this is so much easier to just pull off and clean. So I would suggest getting one that's a little bit bigger, just so the oil, when it drips, it can be caught on here and it could be easily washed. I find that sometimes it cakes onto the sheet pan and it just becomes glue and grease and sticks on there because those are, even though they're non-stick, at some point they just become stick and spray oil because you are going to need a little bit of oil but just a little misting of oil on top of your food right before you cook it is usually what you're going to have to do or if the food contains already a little bit of fatty stuff you need some sort of fat to be able to make it crispy we look for air fryer recipes all of that information is going to be already in there because it's going to work in the same way for the convection oven as it will for the air fryer but this, how this works is that it elevates it. Now you have that fan circulating. All of that air is going everywhere. Halfway through, you would flip it just like you would an air fryer. Now, the only negative is that you have to preheat your oven a little bit, which could take, I don't know, 10 minutes or something. It's instead of a air fryer, which is so small because it's smaller, it preheats a lot quicker. It's such a tiny negative that I don't really see it as a negative. I just plan my workflow accordingly as it's preheating. And then I just pop it in the oven. 
Of course, the advantage of using your convection oven is that you have opportunity to cook so much more for yourself, for other people. You could cook multiple things at once. What I've cooked so far has been crispy tofu, really delicious, fries. I had these fries with duck fat that I've cooked in the past and it was just not as good when I had just put it on a silicone baking sheet and would just turn it over. It couldn't get super crispy. It makes sense, the oil, it's just kind of sitting in, in itself and it, it doesn't, the air doesn't quite get around it. Even if I use the convection oven settings, having this elevated, it just, it kind of dries it up a little bit. And because it's elevated, what will happen is see some sort of oil drip down. If it's in a casserole or, or anything on a sheet pan, the oil doesn't drip, it just stays. It keeps it kind of moist. And if you want something crispy, those two words don't go together. Because it's elevated, the air is going everywhere also. It gets drier because the oil's dripping. And that's how it all works. I've also made a skin on fried chicken. Fried chicken just because it's not actually fried, but had a really crispy top. Oh my God, it was so good. And I wish I had a photo or a video for that, but I don't. Just trust me on it. It's really good. It was one of those viral TikTok recipes that was for, meant for an air fryer that I completely just tried on my own in the oven. It was mm, delicious. Now, when it comes to cleanup, you're not actually necessarily saving any more time with an air fryer. I've read different things from different people. Some people say it's so easy to clean. Some people say it's harder to clean because you have more things to clean. Ultimately, from what I understand, there's a pull-up basket and then there's a drip tray. And ultimately, this is what you're doing here. This is basically gonna be your pull-up basket and this is basically gonna be your drip tray and this is silicone, so nothing is sticking on here. It's flexible and easy to bring to your sink from the oven to give it a good rinse. So I don't think that it's actually more difficult to clean. I just see more advantages if you have a convection or toaster oven already that has that capability. I would say don't buy one. That's it, just a quick short video for you. All the links are in the description and I hope that this helped you. I'm curious to know if you have an air fryer or if you have a convection oven and if you're using this technique or not, if you do use this technique, if you buy all of this and you try it out, please chime in in the description below. I love hearing from all of you. Let me know if this was helpful. If it was, be sure to click the like button if you found it entertaining as well. Give me them positive vibes and share this video with all your other cooking buddies. Subscribe if you haven't already, comment below. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.